Hey guys, welcome to Bing Engineers. I am Sobhik Saha speaking. We are starting a new tutorial series on electronic devices. This is my first tutorial video on YouTube, so please ignore some mistakes if I am doing so. This video is made for those who don't know about, about electronics much but want to start with this. I will be telling the working principle of electronic devices and how we can make it to do some cool stuffs. Now to start, I am going to tell you some of the devices which you will need to start most of the projects and the basic electronics equipments and accessories and these devices are very very expensive inexpensive sorry <laughs> and easily easily available in the local market so go grab your pack from your nearest electronics hobby store and so without making much delay in this video let's start the session our electronics devices based project what comes first is the prototyping of the project for prototyping you need at least a breadboard this is a breadboard and the main fit there are many holes you can see now these holes the five pairs are there in rows they are interconnected and these row columns are interconnected so if you connect put a connecting wire here and you put a connecting wire here then the two wires are sorted this is the use of breadboard and this is called actually solderless breadboard because we don't have to solder all the components in this we can just put the pin here and there and put, make the circuit on it so the first thing goes is the breadboard now so the second thing comes into my mind is the leds there are many kinds of leds available in the market these are 5 mm leds you can get 3 mm leds 10 mm leds led strip surface mount leds flat top leds many types of leds are there in the market you can grab these very inexpensive leds these are 5 mm leds these are white red and you can also get this uh, rgb leds you can see there are four pins the four pins are used to control RGB, red, green and blue color and makes all the different colors with one LED, single LED. So these are the second. The third thing that comes to my mind is registers. Okay. We have a box of registers. These are the listing of the most commonly used registers value. All of quarter watt register. We don't want to have the half water one or register those are used for high current project where the current will be flowing from the register are very high so in that case the register will burn if the register is of quarter watt so get those registers we can pause the video and take the listing of this after this we have to get the capacitors these are the capacitors there are many capacitors most of the capacitors are of three types you can get hot in market this kind of capacitor is called polyester capacitor okay uh, now the another type of capacitor is this ceramic type of capacitor all the nano and pico range of capacitors will be of ceramic type these are the capacitors and you will also get some other like capacitors that are electrolytic capacitors so electrolytic capacitors are these till they are of microfarad range look at this this is a huge capacitor of 4700 microfarad these are of i think 2000 sorry 2300 microfarad capacitor goes up to 1 microfarad 0.1 microfarad like that so these are the types of capacitors the fourth item the fourth item in the list are inductors that is that are called as L these are inductors very similar looks similarly looks at, as registers but they are not registers they are inductors if you look closely you can look the differences the registers are very thin 
and small but the inductors are weak so the inductors it's gone in the next portion I want to see you something this is a buzzer look at this it's a tiny speaker type thing when you connect this to a battery it will blow a very high frequency sound that is used can be used as alarms or any other types of project rain alarm fire alarm anything you want after buzzer we will go to the ICs integrated circuits there are many type many many thousands of ICs available in the market for the basic analog and digital circuit we will need some basic ICs that will be consisting of some digital ICs of 7, 4, something, something some small 8 pin ICs like triple 5, 7, 4, 1 there are various types of ICs available in the market so I will be listing all the ICs we will be needing for the projects ICs. we have to get the regulators, voltage regulators these are very important and easy to use things let me show you something these are the voltage regulators they all look same but the numbers are different on this they are called 78 xx the xx can be 0, 05 0, 06 to 12 and the other types of regulator ICs are 79 xx those 79 xx will be also 05 to 12 the 7805 or 7806 what you will do that it will convert that any voltage you will given you will give the input the output will be 6 volt of 7806 5 volt of 7805 7812 will give the output of 12 volt in the other hand 7912 will give the minus 12 volt if you give minus 15 volt input to the ICs the IC will be giving the minus 12 volt output if you use the IC 791 the next thing in my list is hookup wire look at this bunch of hookup wire they are multicolored, easy to use, made of copper, solid copper. That if you bend this wire, it will remain bended, and you will realize the functionality and the flexibility of this hookup when you prototype a project on a breadboard. So please grade a meter or so of this multicolored copper wire that should be of made of solid copper steel, not of proper thread. That will cause a very difficult situation next in my list these are MOSFETs we also call it MOS and these are bunch of BJTs these are very popular and very useful electronic devices these can use a switch amplifier many many things there is an enormous amount of possibility with these devices they use, can be used as voltage amplifier audio amplifier we will make some cool stuffs after some time after giving some basic concepts and basic projects to you the most will be these these are much costlier than the BJT BJTs are very reliable less expensive than most but the main cons is it can't handle a lot amount lots of amount of current where the most can handle up to one or two amp of current each so get those MOS and BJTs I'll be listing the numbers in the description below with the code we have to give the power to the prototyping project to the ICs to the BJTs to the LEDs we have to give the power na? so we have to have some batteries with us look these are the 9 volt batteries you can get in, in anywhere this is very commonly used these are battery clips that will fix on this type of no battery very well and you can, can use the voltage out of this wire the red wire will give the positive 9 volt the black wire will give the ground there are another kind of batteries we will use these are the 3 volt coin cells you must have seen that in many calculators or motherboards clocks these are 3 volt lithium ion cells you can also call it coin cell
next in my list is this get this get one of these this these are called wire strippers they are very useful to cut wires the wires insulation bend something pick some very delicate things put the wires in breadboards where the when the breadboards wires are very clumsy we can't put the hand in very specific points so then we'll use these strippers wire strippers also try to get some tweezers or sharp pointed type thing to do some delicate work with it these are called wire strippers after these we'll look at switches electronic switches there are many many types of switches these are the most common types of switches you must have noticed anywhere lying around so grab these types of switches this cost very less amount of prices there are two three terminals actually these side by side terminals are sorted and there are two positions can be in the switch the on position and the ops position this is one type of switches there are many another kind of switches that you can find like this these are also common switches on off written one and zero nothing special these are also spdt switches the toggle switches these are off position if you move, move this like this is on position this also ha is having no state position if we put this in middle like this th these terminals these terminals are not shorted to each other not even with the middle one now if we put this throttle in the backward direction then then these two are sorted and if you put the throttle in the forward direction the front two rows are sorted these are another kinds of switches this actually the switches are very useful in the most electrical devices also these switches used because they can handle lot amount of power look at this this can handle it is written here i don't know whether you can see it or not uh, sorry it is written 3 ampere 250 volts so lot of current it can handle so grab these switches after switches go to this this is one of the most important thing to look on these are multimeters you must have watched this any electronics item can be repaired without this these are multimeters full instrument electronics lover can have it will give you maximum flexibility maximum security maximum security sorry maximum reliability to work with it will get the voltage currents it will give the registers value you can check the transistors in pnp and i will tell you later in the videos these are multimeters the probes are multimeters the red one will go to the positive side or the black one go to the ground side it can, it can ask a continuity tester like this if you look at this now if we this a metal leads okay if you touch the metal leads it will act a continuity tester the sound will, the sound will come from beef sound will come from this multimeter can you hear it this will also calculate the value of resistors the voltage terminal voltage where we will put this probe current it can go up to read up to 10 ampere of current but for though this current measurement we will have to some take some precision and you have to connect this red terminal in this 10 ampere plug not in the milliampere plug okay so this is the I mean you uh, the multimeter get a good multimeter it will last forever if you don't make a mess with it the last few things are like the jumpers these jumpers are very helpful look at this let me get tangled these are one end and the another end 
one end is male part and this is female part it will go into the breadboard you can connect another thing in this uh, female part it will help a lot in when the circuit will become big big and big you can't put much hook up here in the breadboard use these jumpers but these are, these are expensive than the hook up here, but are expensive compared to the other things electronics items so grab some of the jumpers Another things we will look at this potentiometer. These potentiometers are called variable resistors. These are used to uh, volt, divide voltage. If you want to make a voltage divider circuit, these will help you to make a voltage divider circuit. Potentiometers are of many range. You can see it as this is written at 1k. So this is written at 5k you can get the 15 sorry 500 ohm 1k 5k 10k even 100k will help sometimes these are actually uh, knob type potentiometers you can also get these small potentiometer these are also potentiometer screw type and finally you should get some of the interesting things like the speakers there are many types of speakers available in the market they are really very cheap this is actually a 8 uh, ohm speaker these are very micro speaker cost very very less amount of money get some of those it will help you some making some amplifier actually these types of 8 ohm speakers will be great for making multi sorry amplifier we will get to this amplifier how to build it with the IC called 36386 in that some thing in the next tutorial so grab some of the speaker in this video i will st again we'll start the next video in some two or three days the in the that video we'll be doing some very basic circuit making a led on and off pushing a switch that's a called micro switch i didn't show that actually to you i think micro switch right now I can't find it actually sorry guys uh, go the mic grab the micro switch these are called looks like similarly they like this but have the two terminal if you press the terminal if you press the button sorry this terminal will be sorted otherwise it will be open this my so in the next tutorial we will be doing some projects by on and off making making an LED on and off by pressing a switch micro switch so till now grab this project's item make yourself comfortable with this make yourself habituated with the notations and we will meet in the next tutorial till then bye thank you